What's up everybody, Brantley here. We are coming to a close of this holiday season here at Big Eye. Uh, today's the 22nd and we feel like we have finally caught up from the beginning of December and November. And so we just wanna first of all say thank you to anybody who has grabbed something over these last few weeks. Uh, you've kept us busy, you've kept us excited. We appreciate all your support uh, this year and then this season. Just wanted to talk a little bit today about what 2023 was for us and what all we did and all the new that happened because there was a lot. First of all, we introduced six new products and I'm gonna refer to this a lot because I had to write it all out, okay? So if you see me looking down, I'm just checking my notes to make sure I'm telling you the right information, all right? We introduced six new products this year, most of which were knives, which is awesome. It's a brand new category for us this year. Um, we opened up a brand new office here in Chattanooga. We, um, the long and short of our office journey in the last three years, we've been in three offices because we keep outgrowing them. So this year, we bought a building, we renovated it, and we got to move in in July. It's about 10,000 square feet. You guys have got to see um, quite a bit of it in some of the videos. Um, this is our new home. We love it here. Um, it's just been a really cool journey getting to um, build this place out that works best for us, figuring out our systems, all that. There's a lot that goes on to running a business uh, that you know we are learning every day. Um, as soon as you feel like you have it finished, something changes. We also opened a new US manufacturing shop. So if you guys have been following along to these vlogs, you know that we have a new shop here in town um, where we have a bunch of CNC machines. We've got a mill, we have a lathe, we have router tables, we've got uh, stone tumblers, we have all the goodies down there um, to make new products. And so that shop is gonna be mainly focused on uh, mainly knives, but we're also doing some pins. I'll talk about this in just a second, but we're doing um, uh, a fountain pen that's gonna be releasing very soon. We'll talk about that in a second. On to new staff members, we have added six new members to our team this year. We've got three guys at the shop. We added another customer service uh, person here, Kate. You guys have talked to her, Team Tyler or Team Kate. Put it in the comments. <clears throat> Side note, if we get 10 votes for Team Tyler or Team Kate, we're gonna make him do a triathlon on video. So down in the comments, <laughs> tell me which one. They both are gonna hate this. So down in the comments, let me know which team you're on and who's gonna win the triathlon, true big eye style. We're talking, we're gonna make them play pool, we're gonna make them race go-karts, and we're gonna make them have like a Tetris off on the arcade. So, let me know, Team Tyler or Team K, put it down below. Does my vote count? No, Danny's vote does not count. <laughs> So not only did we add the three guys down at the machine shop, which you've met all of those, Mac, Josh, and Jarvis, uh, great dudes, they're working their tail off. Um, learning new machines is not easy and getting a shop set up has, is not a simple task. So those guys are crushing it. We added another production team member here at the office to help mainly with uh, assembly of some of these US products. And we also added a screen printer onto our team. So we do some different screen printing projects with friends. And so it just made sense for us to have a screen printer on our team. So I'll put the link to his website actually below. So he's part of our team. He works here in our shop. Scenic Ink Prints, Josh, great guy, does a great job. So go to check that out if you have any screen printing needs. So new products. This year, like I said, has been the year of knives. We started out the year with our utility flipper, the TI Utility Knife on Kickstarter. Um, that thing has been incredible. I feel like if you work in any sort of warehousing situation or if you just buy a lot from Amazon, that thing's incredible. The utility knife, we introduced our first flipper knife, the TI Pocket Knife. This thing has just been incredible. Grade 5 TI scales, S35 VN made by Crucible Industries. Just incredible knife. This is my personal one. It's a workhorse. I have absolutely loved this thing. So um, TI pocket knife onto the lookout. The lookout you've seen a little bit. It hasn't been a full release yet. Um, this is actually our standard model that is going to be released Q1 of 2024. So this is coming very soon, just here in the next few months probably February-ish. The standard model is grade five TI scales like we normally would do. Um, the blade steel is M390. Uh, these are gonna come with Kydex sheaths. They're super cool. I've been carrying one of these for the last month or so, I guess, since we got them in and they are awesome. So really excited about these. We also introduced a couple batches um, of the hand ground lookouts made here in the US shop. 
Um, this is actually one of the very first 10 that we did for Blade Show West. Um, we just kept one, we, we, we did actually sold off number one and we kept number two. So we wanted somebody special to get number one. Um, just cool to have that out in the world. And so these are incredible. These are all gonna be Magna Cut. We're gonna be doing Black G10 and Ultim on the scales for these first uh, production runs. Um, we're gonna do TI hardware that's also made in house. We've talked about that a lot. That's something that's really cool. Um, yeah, so these are gonna be coming too. I'm very excited about this. This, like I said, is a hand ground version. Um, so we launched two batches of those. Um, this last batch of 40 that we released just a few weeks ago. Um, if you haven't seen any of those vlogs, there's a ton of footage that we've shot um, and I've put up on our channel. Um, just go check out the playlist under vlogs. This video will be part of that playlist as well. So, And we launched a whole new category with the TI EDC backpack. That's been a passion project of ours over the last year or so. Um, really cool that it's on Kickstarter. It is funded. Uh, most of the time our Kickstarters are very low funding goals because we've already committed to making them for the most part. So more times than not, when we throw a Kickstarter up, we're ready to roll. But the backpack was a little different. We have to work with outside sources to really get that thing the way we want it to get and uh, into the quality that we, we wanted to expect. We also wanted for you guys. I believe at like midnight on New Year's Eve is when the project ends. If you want to check out the TIEDC backpack and get the lowest introductory price, that is on Kickstarter right now. So go click the link, go check it out. You got about nine more days. They are going to be made. We hit the funding goal. So thank you guys for supporting that and that brand new project, a new category for us. Another big thing for us this year has been trade shows. We have never done a trade show. And so we have decided this year that we were gonna kind of hit it head on. And since June, I think was the first one, we've done three and we already have two more lined up for next year. Uh, so we've done Blade Show Atlanta. We did US in the gathering down in Las Vegas, which was really cool. That was just a fun trip for our team to get to do together. Um, and then we did uh, Blade Show West in Salt Lake City. Those were so fun. We. Uh, are kind of addicted to trade shows. I know I personally am, I'm an extreme extrovert. And so getting to meet all these people that maybe we talk to in DMs or we just kind of know throughout the industry, um, getting to meet everybody in person and get to talk about stuff and getting to meet people that actually use our stuff in the real world is really, really fun. So um, one of my highlights of the year was just getting to do those. Um, we are doing Blade Show Texas in February, I believe it's the 22nd and 23rd. Um, we've already started making plans for that and kind of what we're gonna do and uh, really excited for, uh, for that trip. So if you are thinking about coming to Blade Show Texas, come see us. We're in the back of the room somewhere. I can't remember the booth number. Oh no, we're booth 420. We are booth 420. Thanks, Texas. <laughs> One thing we're really excited about for the Christmas season is just getting to take a break, getting to rest a little bit over this next week so we can hit 2024 hard right out of the gate. Uh, we've already got a Kickstarter lined up um, for the Ultim Fountain Pen um, that's gonna be launching early January. So it's probably in the first two weeks. We don't have a date exactly nailed down. So keep a lookout for information on that. The Ultim Fountain Pens that we have talked about they are finished being made. Now we are in the assembly phase. We're QCing and assembling these actually right this moment uh, on the other side of the building. They are actually being worked on. Uh, this is one I personally assembled this morning. So these things are super cool. Uh, all Ultim, all machined in house. Uh, these are gonna have a Coeco gold nib on them um, and they're gonna ship with a, with a mini converter. Uh, yeah, stone washed, milled pocket clip. So it's a TI pocket clip, but Ultim body. Um, the cool thing about these, and we'll get into more, this more in another video, um, but just how they're transparent. And so with the ink of a fountain pen, if you're familiar with fountain pens at all, you know there's a lot of inner workings on them with the way the ink flows and it's just kind of really unique compared to a roller ball or a ballpoint pen. And so this kind of gives you a little bit of the look behind. I actually just put a cartridge in this one so the ink is kind of starting to flow down. I haven't written with it yet. Uh, the ink is starting to flow down through the feed, but you can see it, which is super cool. So be a lookout for those. Early January, we're gonna be launching a Kickstarter on these. I mean, 2023 has been probably the craziest year as a company that we've ever had. And we wanna thank you guys for following along what we're doing, buying something to support us, um, and just genuinely being cool people. So we appreciate you following our content. We just hit 5,000 YouTube subscribers, which is really, really cool. So um, we've that's not really something we've ever really pushed or anything until recently. And so 
Um, we appreciate you guys following along and subscribing and just kind of seeing what's going on behind the scenes here. So when you buy something from a company, a lot of times you think you're just, there's just a couple guys, right? So like a lot of people know, obviously me, Chad and Joe, we're kind of the, we're the owners of the company and, and, and the face of them. But there's so much more to that. There's 16 people on our team. And so those 16 people break down to represent about 50 people. And so when you buy something from a small company like us, you're actually feeding 50 people, which is amazing. So we just wanna say thank you for supporting us. Thank you for letting us do what we do. We hope that this holiday season for you guys is great. We hope you get to rest. We hope you get to spend time with family. And we are excited to see more of you and more of this in 2024. So. Thank you again. Hope you guys are having a great week and happy holidays. 2023.